Hello everybody and welcome to Excel Made Easy. This is your Excel Guru. Today with a new formula called D count. Yes, this is the formula's name. D count. Uh, as we know, count uh, gives you the count of numbers in a range. So D count gives you conditional count of numbers based on criteria as you give. Uh, Whenever we have to ensure that when we are, we are using a formula such as D count, D sum, D product, we have to provide Excel with some pre-formatted data. This should be a database. Uh, we have to ensure there should be no rows or columns which should be blank. And we have to give a condition field also over here. The condition field should be pre-formatted also. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to count the number of times peer trees appear in this database if the age of peer tree is greater than 9 all right so we are going to do that by using d count in two methods first by entering this formula syntax and the second one by using the formula fx insert feature function so every formula in excel starts with is equal to a few people started by entering plus sign also so let's do it by plus sign today plus D C O U and T D count D count I'm telling you D count I'll be doing the next one what is it count the cell containing numbers in the field column this is called a column as in of records in the database that meets the ma that match the conditions you specify my conditions would be the name of the tree should be peer and the age should be greater than 9 so parenthesis open select the database using the arrow keys comma field uh, since we are doing a count it will uh, work on any 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 column at all because it just ne has needs to have a number over there so let's do it on height itself height and I'll teach you a cool trick uh, see I clicked over here it gave me D9 right so if I choose it and press F9 it will return the text in this cell D9 is the cell address correct so if I press F9, see, <laughs> it gave me the text over there. And then I need to give the criteria. And the criteria I have pre-mentioned over here, the name of the tree should be pair and the age should be greater than 9. I close the parenthesis, bracket close, enter, and this is the count. Only once does this database have the name of peer tree where the age of the peer tree is greater than 9. See, over here, peer appears once but the age is less than is less than 9 it's 8 the peer tree is 12 so this is once greater than 9 cool now I'll do it in the another manner go to formula fx feature D C O U N T click on go D count D sum I've already covered D average I've already covered D count I'm going to do next D count I'm doing right now D get D max D min my god there's too much d product all this will be done by me I'll ensure my data library is more than 1500 to 2000 videos that's the minimum I'm aiming that's how much I know okay d count click on ok database as we mentioned this is our database a pre-formatted database we have to ensure that we give Excel pre-formatted database field and count since we are only getting a number uh, the count it can be any anyone where I say we'll take <coughs> this this time the count using the profit column and we'll go to criteria and what's my criteria this is most important the name of the tree should be peer and the age should be greater than nine and I click on okay and here's the answer isn't it cool well uh, the training file that you're looking at is available for free download I'm re I refer to the uh, Excel file uh, on my website excelmadeeasy.weebly.com you go to this website and you click on the training files page and you can download the training file for free to practice along to follow along or just to keep it for reference and also here are my playlists for in English and in Hindi and here are my links to my social networking sites Twitter Facebook and YouTube now 
I would like you to follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook and subscribe to me on YouTube if you believe that what I'm doing is right. If you believe that sharing knowledge is a good thing. If you believe that my motto, let's share knowledge has some meaning to it. So if you believe that what I'm doing is right, if you believe that knowledge should be shared, then yes, do go ahead and click on Twitter and follow me over there. Just go to Twitter and follow me. Go to Facebook and like us. Not only like us, but share my content. Share it with your friends. Go to YouTube. Subscribe to it by entering your email ID and your uh, a little bit of data for free. And whenever there's a new video uploaded by me, you will be notified by YouTube. And not only that, best part is share the content. Share it with your friends. Share it on Facebook, Twitter, all these other accounts. Share it. Let's share knowledge. So this is your Excel Guru signing off for the day. Have a wonderful day ahead. Happy Excel learning.